All right, guys, gonna go out here, check the charge, um, charge it up for the first time. See, I got the little pony puddle on the ground. I don't know if it's coming through, projecting the horse onto the ground. Um, all the circles are fully illuminated around the charger, meaning we should be at 100% charge. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we're in the vehicle. A couple little startup animations. Let's put this on here. Okay. All right, you can see now we're at 100%. We are showing an estimated mileage of 222 miles. So that would be higher than what the uh, EPA rating on the on the vehicle was. So that's that's good to see that we're potentially outperforming. Um, the estimate from the window sticker. Take a look in here. Again, from the charge screen within the settings, uh, you're seeing the 100% uh, with the 222 um, estimated distance. Now, uh, looking at the, the trip calculator, um, so this is going to include me sitting in the car right now without it running. But let's see where that energy has been going. 11% um, has been used on the climate use. Um, it's been hot here the last couple days, so I've been driving with the air conditioning on. Um, you get 77% coming from the actual driving. 6% um, coming from accessories. Um, that could include uh, me putting my phone on the mobile charger uh, as well as some of the uh, additional uh, lights and, and things of that nature. Uh, you can see there's also been a 6% uh, of the battery uh, has been associated with that outside temperature. Uh, temperature is going to have an impact on how the, the uh, pack performs. Of my 454 miles that have been recorded, um, so that's 10 less than what the car has for a total. Uh, I've been driving for, uh, we'll call it 20 hours. Um, and I've got an average consumption rate of 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So I'll go ahead and uh, drop in some screenshots from the website as well. So you can see the EPA estimated rating uh, as well as some information. Um, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, you know, let me know if there's anything you guys want to know from a, from a person who's driving this as a daily driver. Um, again, this is the Mustang Mach-E. It is the select uh, edition with uh, the standard range battery uh, and all-wheel drive.